Atropine is an anticholinergic agent that is used to treat cardiac problems like bradycardia and heart block, and for reducing airway secretions in a variety of other clinical contexts. By inhibiting the actions of acetylcholine, atropine is a strong blocker of the parasympathetic nervous system, which controls our rest and digest responses. In this mnemonic video, I'll teach you my way of remembering the clinical uses of atropine as well as what to look for in the way of side effects. Let's get started. Aloha, and welcome to this wonderful tropical island. You can tell we're in the tropics by all the tropical palm trees, the tropical sand, and the sunny tropical weather. By the way, this tropical setting is our symbol for atropine, because when you see the word atropine, it kind of looks like the tropics, right? Tropical for atropine. Unfortunately, this man doesn't look like he's having an amazing tropical vacation. This tropical island is completely deserted, and by the looks of it, this man has been stranded here for quite some time. He's sending messages out to sea in these empty cola bottles. Here at Pixarize, we use cola as a symbol for choline or acetylcholine, because choline and cola sound pretty similar, right? In this case, notice that these cola bottles are empty, because you always send out messages to sea in empty bottles. Duh. This empty cola also helps us remember that atropine is an anticholinergic agent, reducing the signaling of acetylcholine. Kind of like the reduced cola in these empty bottles, right? Recall that the signaling of acetylcholine is crucial for activating the parasympathetic nervous response, or the rest and digest response. Therefore, blocking acetylcholine signaling by atropine reduces or blocks the rest and digest response. Now that we know how atropine works, let's talk about its clinical uses. Time passes really slowly when you're stranded on a tropical island. But don't take it from me, just notice how this guy is looking at his watch. Looking at your watch due to time passing slowly is our recurring symbol for bradycardia, or a slow heart rate. Because just like time is ticking slowly for this man stranded on a tropical island, bradycardia describes a heart beating slowly. This is all here to help you remember that atropine is used to treat bradycardia, which makes sense because by blocking acetylcholine, atropine blocks the parasympathetic rest and digest response. When the rest and digest response is blocked, the heart rate will increase, which is exactly what we want for someone with bradycardia. Ouch, this man looks really sunburned. Well, most of them, that is. Looks like he only had enough sunblock for his chest, which reminds me. Sunblock over the chest is our symbol for heart block. Get it? Sunblock and heart block sound pretty similar, plus the sunblock is in the shape of a heart over the man's left chest area. Got that? Atropine can be used to treat some types of heart block. Think about it. This makes sense since heart block is caused by slowed conduction between the atria and ventricles of the heart through the AV node, which is modulated by the parasympathetic nervous system. By blocking parasympathetic signaling, atropine increases the conduction through the AV node, thereby treating heart block. This man looks really dehydrated, especially with his tongue all cracked and dry like that. He obviously already drank all his cola, and I don't see any fresh water around. This dehydrated man with his dry, cracked tongue is our way to remember that atropine decreases secretions. In other words, it dries you up. This is particularly useful during surgery and anesthesia to reduce oral and respiratory secretions, decreasing the risk of aspiration. Atropine is also useful to treat the death rattle associated with the end of life. Basically, the death rattle occurs when mucus and saliva builds up in the throat of patients nearing death, and this buildup is blocked by atropine. However, decreasing bodily secretions can also lead to some undesirable side effects, like dry mouth, decreased sweating, and dry, itchy eyes. Next, we should mention a slew of other effects that result from blocking cholinergic signaling. You see, your rest and digest response stimulates a lot of bodily functions, including bowel movements, urination, brain function, and pupil constriction. Blocking all of these effects can lead to constipation, urinary retention, confusion, and pupil dilation. This laundry list of effects is commonly known as your anticholinergic side effects. I recommend not memorizing these individually, but instead thinking about what happens when you block your rest and digest response. Let physiology be your best mnemonic, right? 
Next, notice how this man is rubbing his eyes out of disbelief after checking the time. He can't believe how long he's been stranded on this tropical island. We can use this as our symbol for glaucoma, because rubbing your eyes puts pressure on your eyes, and glaucoma occurs due to high intraocular pressure, right? Rubbing eyes for glaucoma. Atropine causes pupil dilation, also called madriasis, which can increase intraocular pressure to cause glaucoma. Technically, this happens because the muscles responsible for pupil dilation can block the outflow of fluid from the anterior chamber of the eye. This blocked fluid builds up, thereby increasing intraocular pressure. You don't need to know this level of detail for the NCLEX. Just remember that pupil dilation occurs because of the inhibition of the parasympathetic, or rest and digest, response, and any drug that causes pupil dilation can cause angle closure glaucoma. The NCLEX loves to ask questions about anticholinergic medications and glaucoma, so just remember this man rubbing his eyes, and you'll be sure to get those questions right on test day. After all these messages and bottles were sent out to sea, it looks like our deserted guy finally had a stroke of luck. Notice the physician running over to rescue our man from his tropical nightmare? By the way, this physician is our symbol for physostigmine, the antidote for atropine poisoning. Physician for physostigmine, right? Since this physician is going to end our tropical adventure, this will help you remember that physostigmine reverses or stops the effects of atropine. Some people even call this physostigmine rescue which I think is extra fitting if you think of how this physician is the one rescuing our dehydrated man. Makes sense, right? All right, we're almost done with atropine. Let's quickly summarize what we've learned and help this man get off the tropical island. Atropine is an anticholinergic agent that reduces the activity of the rest and digest response. Atropine is clinically used to treat bradycardia and heart block. It can also be used to decrease airway secretions before surgery. Side effects of atropine include anticholinergic side effects such as urinary retention, constipation, dry mouth, blurred vision, and basically anything that comes from decreased fluid secretions. Atropine is contraindicated in glaucoma. And lastly, know that the effect of atropine can be reversed by the drug physostigmine. That's it for atropine. Let's help this man on his way home. And somebody get him a drink of water. Thanks for joining us in this mnemonic video, and when you see atropine on test day, don't panic. Just come back to this tropical island scene with our dehydrated man, and you'll be all set. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.